Now, the Gaon Mivilna has been telling us time and time again how important it is to learn Musar, how important it is to, uh, to, to teach it to our kids. Now he's talking to his son-in-law who is a Talmud Chacham, a person that's learning Torah on a regular basis, not just doing it on the side, but making it his vocation. Making it his vocation, taking the blessing, the blessing of making Torah your life. Now, sure, learning Torah full time is not for everybody. It's not for everybody. If you have the ability to do it, surely you should do it. If you don't have, you still could learn two, four, six hours a day. I mean, you don't need to think that just because learning Torah like an Avrech is not something that you can do, that means that you're absolved from learning it more than just watching the occasional shiur. Every person can learn for a few hours a day. Every person. Now, if you're just starting out, this is the first shiur that you're ever watching or the first shiur that you're watching in a long time, this is not, this two, three, four, five, six hours is not something that most of you are able to start with. Typically, 15, 30 minutes is what somebody can start with. And that's fine too. That's how I started, 15 minutes a day. But every day, no exceptions, no uh, nothing. You have to make it like breathing. You breathe every day, you eat every day, you drink every day. You have to learn Torah every day. You have to feed the Neshama every day. And that's going to help you do more mitzvot. And that's going to help you serve Hashem even better and want it more. But if a person learns a lot one day but nothing for several days, it's as if he did nothing. So a person needs to know that you have to constantly grow in Torah. But to, the, the further you grow, the more difficult it becomes. Why? Because now you start realizing that that siyata dishmaya, that divine assistance you had from heaven, okay, that helped you in the beginning, where you were able to sit down or stand up for two, four, six hours straight and get all types of amazing new insights. You felt certain ways. You saw certain things. You, 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 you were able to, uh, to literally feel what you were learning. During the first one or two years, all of a sudden, it's much more difficult. All of a sudden, it's hard for you to get even uh, an hour in. All of a sudden, it's hard for you to even understand what's going on. Don't think that the, you have to give up for a second. Don't think that you've gone down, but rather you've gone up. Why? HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave you special training wheels in the beginning to get you going. Now, He wants to move you up. He wants to move you up, but he has to test you. So now you have to fight for the Torah. You have to literally steal hours, steal minutes from everywhere you can. You have to be very particular about your schedule, very uh, 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 um, uh, committed to it. Because if you are committed to it, you will eventually succeed much more than you did before. But again, the Gaoni Vilna says that despite the amount of Torah that you've learned in your past, your Avodat Hashem, your avodat of the midot, your servitude of Hashem, and your constant self-introspection uh, has to continue at any stage of your life. Thereby, he talks to his son-in-law, who is a Talmud Chacham, and he tells him things that are simple. To learn Torah for the sake of heaven, to make sure to, uh, to teach Torah, but also to make sure to learn and teach Masechet Avot. Masechet Avot, that, that is, in essence, the, uh, the, the, the tractate of the Mishnah, that is the teachings, the moral teachings of our sages, of our forefathers, that a person that reviews it and delves into it realizes that the wisdom in it is in itself never-ending. This is the reason why and, you know, many of the Chachamim, literally, I can't think of anyone who has it. Many of the Chachamim have Chiburim, have writings. Some have been published, some are private. Uh, but nonetheless, many of the Chachamim have writings on Masechet Avot, have their commentary on it. And all of them are different. All of them are getting different teachings where there's literally endless, endless wisdom on Pirkei Avot because this is moral teachings. So the Gaomi Vilna is telling this Chacham, that's his son-in-law, make sure to learn Pirkei Avot. Yeah, but what, you probably learned it already at least a dozen times. Why does he have to learn it again? Because each time you'll see more. You'll find more chametz inside yourself. You'll, si you'll find more chametz in society. You'll find more reasons to serve Hashem. You'll find more reasons that you're uh, able to uh, run away from, uh, more ways to run away from the Yetzirah, from the evil inclination. But that in itself is not enough. Why? 
working on yourself means that you have to constantly measure your relationships.